Hi everyone, I'm Kathy, the Clumsy Sofer. Welcome back to my channel. Have you often wondered on how to measure the exact capacity of your soap mold? I know that majority of the soap makers out there simply estimate the amount of oils needed to fill up their soap mold. This is a hit or miss process. Sometimes it's just enough, but most of the times you prepared less or probably in excess. When that happens, you will either need to top up your soap butter or use another mold. Today, let me help you to solve that problem. But before we start, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon to keep you posted of my latest upload. Give me a thumbs up and feel free to write your comments down below. Here, I have three molds, one square, one rectangle, and one cylinder. All we have to do is to measure the dimensions of the mold, and later on, we will move to mysoapcalc.com to calculate the mold capacity and amount of oils needed to make your soap. By the way, mysoapcalc is my own website, and I developed it to give back to the soap making community and to my soap sisters and bubble brothers. Here we have the square mold and I measured 12 centimeters by another 12 centimeters. That will be the length and the width. And then for the height, um, you, had, you just have to know roughly how much is the height of the soap that you like. They probably would want to have a 5 centimeter. height for my soap so later on once we move to the website I'll use 12 by 12 by 5 for the length, width, and height then now let's move to the rectangle mold it doesn't matter how big your mold is you just have to measure the length, width and height whether it's a square or a rectangle the formula will still be the same so I've measured 12 by 7 and then for the height I probably would want to measure all the way up to 6 centimeters Okay, let's put this aside and let's move to the Pringles can. This is just an improvised soap mold. I have a soap video where I use the Pringles can as a soap mold. So um, feel free to watch that. So now I've measured 19 cm for the height and 6.6 .6 cm for the diameter. So we are ready to move to the website. But before that, let me just share you another technique. Another full proof technique is to simply fill up the soap mold with water at the same level where you would like to fill your soap then just multiply it by 0.65 or 0.7 and that will be the oil amount that you need Now, we are here at www.mysoapcalc.com backslash soap and then we have a loaf and slab mold. The square one and the rectangular one will be using the same um, type which is a loaf or a slab. 
and then for the Pringles stand, we'll use the limit. Let's just first calculate the first one. The length in centimeter is 12. The weight is 12. And the height of the soap that we'd like to have is 5. Yeah. So what does this calculator will do is that it will automatically calculate how much is the capacity of your mold so it will be 720 grams and then it will also immediately reflect the weight of oils based on mold capacity so down here it's 503.999 so it's up to you since you already have an idea on how much oil does your soap mold needs then you can just keep 500 here or if maybe you want to make it like 503, 504, it doesn't really matter but um, I wouldn't change anything at this point then maybe let's just try to Paste this one and let's go the second one. So let's just say weight is 12 and then the weight is 7. Height of the soap that we'd like to do is 6. So you have 504 grams. That is a smaller mold, so capacity maximum is 504 grams. So the weight of oil based on the mold capacity is 322.79 so if it was me or, or if it's me who will be using um, this mold then I will just probably we'll just put 400 or 350 sorry and that. so I would just try it. 3 300 So that whatever percentage that I use, this will be reflected. Okay, so let's just say um, by percentage 100% that add. So this Right? So that's, it, it's that easy. Just say I'm going to do a cylinder. And, um, Height is 15 and the diameter is 16. So automatically, I will know that this cylinder mold can actually hold a maximum of 649.74 grams. I just dropped it off so that in case you will know. So the last two and then the weight of the oil space and the mold capacity is 454.78. So I can just change this one to say 450 and it will automatically calculate everything from the base of the capacity. So let's just say that I have avocado, avocado butter and say I want to use 5% of that and probably I have just maybe a uh, cocoa butter five percent okay. and then oh wow olive oil and let's just say So another 30 person is required. How about let's just run open it on 76 30 person. That's it. It will show me that the total amount of oils in my recipe. Is 100 to the total of 400 oils. So it will automatically calculate everything based on this one. 
I will need 22.5 grams of avocado butter, 22.5 grams of cocoa butter, 270 grams of olive oil, and 135 grams of olive oil. So that's it. And we can I'll continue to create the recipe, but I'll just save that for another time. Because today our main focus is to calculate the amount of oils in your Thank you so much for watching. I really apologize that I am not uploading cook making videos as often as before. As you know, my father passed away early this year and our family is mourning and it's very difficult for us. So please bear with me and please pray for my family. Thank you so much. See you again next time. Bye bye.